Hi, welcome to the part 17 of this video series. These are all real certification questions for AZ 900. Chances of same or similar questions coming in the exam is very high. Please subscribe to my channel. If you like my videos, please hit the like button. For previous questions, please refer parts 1 to 16 of this video series. So let's look at this question. It comprises of three questions. The first one says a user who is assigned the owner role. Basically, it is asking who can transfer the ownership of Azure subscription. Owner role cannot transfer. Okay. So this answer is no. See, only the billing administrator, here you see this, administrator of the billing account, only they can transfer the ownership of an Azure subscription. The second question, it talks about, you can convert Azure subscription of your company from free trial to pay as you go. Yes, see, in the first time, people go with free trial. You get $200 of credit. And after that, you always have an option to convert to a pay as you go. So the answer here is yes. The third one says, as your spending limit is fixed. See, the spending limit here, they are referring to the free account. They are not referring to reserved instances or pay as you go because for reserved, the limit is not visible because there is no limit. It is locked for three years upfront payment. And for pay as you go, there is no limit you pay for whatever you are going to use hence the answer here are no yes and yes let's go to the next question here the question asks that microsoft is planning to end the support of azure service okay suppose there is a service for example one day they decide that say sql server they want to decommission and they have a new better database okay so microsoft will provide notification at least 12 months before is this correct or not yes this is correct because uh, it is not 30 days 90 days or six months notice it they give one full year of notice why because they give you time to prepare so that you start moving to the modern service okay and you are not under pressure to leave all the other initiatives and just focus on this upgrade. That's why they give you 12 months. Hence the answer here is no change needed. Next question, again, we get three questions. This talks about the first one says, you have a free account. The free account has standard support plan. No, it has the basic support plan. That's why the answer is no for the first one. See, if you are buying or not buying, if you are using a free tire, that is a basic plan. Simple. Nobody gives you lunch free of cost. Even Azure will not give it. They will only give the basic plan. Hence, hence, this is wrong. Standard support plan is not included. It is a basic support plan. So the answer here is no. Let's move to the next question. It says a premium support plan can only be purchased by companies. Suppose you are working for a company which has an enterprise agreement. Then only you can purchase. No, that is wrong. Sorry, that is correct. If you don't have enterprise agreement, you cannot get the premier support plan. So you are seeing this documentation. This is talking about enterprise agreement support. And if you see here, the premier support is given. So see, if I click this documentation here, I go to the enterprise support. I click this. So what it tells me is it provides premier support for enterprise and premier support for partners. This is what it means. See, there are two types of agreements. The first one is MCA. The other one is EA. Okay. So, so if you read this statement, professional direct standard developer support plans, it comes with MCA that is Microsoft customer agreement, but you can purchase uh, standard support, professional and premier support plans with enterprise agreements only. Let's look at the last one that is support from msdn forums is only provided to companies that have pay as you could know 
you can have a three year commitment that is through the reservation that is still fine you can still access msdn forums so this is the final answer let's jump to 89 you see this you have 10 offices okay and you want to generate several billing reports from the azure portal each report will contain azure resource utilization of each office for each office you should be looking at different utilization and which resource manager feature should you use simple tags you have to tag it okay Th that is tags are used for this purpose it has been born for this purpose see it's simple you have to apply tags to your resources resource groups and subscriptions to locally organize them into a taxonomy the next one templates see i'll go through b c and d why b is wrong is templates is used for infrastructure as a code this is what we are talking about this is what arm is used for it is not used for this purpose of you know the billing has to be categorized so b is wrong let's look at c locks what is locks see locks is the feature of arm that we spoke in option b it is used so that nobody can accidentally delete the infrastructure that you are deploying it is to do with infrastructure as a code so c is wrong let's talk about the last option that is the policies Azure policy is used to enforce organizational standards and to assess compliance. For example, there is a certain type of VM which is very big. You don't want everybody to launch that VM to avoid cost overruns. You can create an Azure policy and that is the way you are enforcing your organizational standards. Hence, the answer here is tags. Let's look at this last question for this part see the first one says if there is a service in private preview you can access you must not can you must access it using a separate azure portal no you can access it from the same portal let's look at the second one it says see the first one when we are talking about a separate azure portal there is something called preview.azure.portal.com uh, but that is a part of the azure portal it's not a separate portal that is my understanding and the second one if you talk about public preview can you use public preview in production if you see whenever a service is launched it is first put under private preview then public preview preview and then ga so ga is when you should take it into production because GA offers you service level agreements. Public preview does not offer you SLAs. So if you take it into production, you are doing a security breach. There is no commitment of high availability, elasticity, and so on. But you can still do it. That is my understanding. And the third one is as your services in public preview are, su are subject to SLAs, no. There are no SLAs in public preview private and public has no SLAs only GA general availability has SLA defined and this is the final answer please subscribe to my channel hit the like button if you like my videos if you have any constructive comments please to put in your comments this brings us to the end of part 17. See you in the next part.